Hello, and welcome to the Small Business Sweet Spot. I'm your host, Barb Davids, and this show is dedicated to helping small business owners like you get more organic website traffic, and also to help create and distribute content and analyzing the numbers so that we can make better informed marketing decisions. It is action-oriented, direct, and conversational. And if you've been looking for SEO or content marketing help, please stick around to the very end where I share about the group coaching program, Small Business Sweet Spot. I'm so glad you're here. Let's go. Welcome to this last episode in a series of what's the bare minimum you need to do for SEO. In the previous two episodes, we covered setting things up. This episode covers what specifically you can do each month if you only have an hour or two to work on your SEO. So let's jump in, shall we? There are two things at minimum to do every month. That's publish and monitor. Publish content and monitor performance. Creating new content on a regular basis attracts more people to your site. I'd go as far as saying a content marketing strategy is the backbone to SEO success. For most small businesses, creating content means publishing blog articles. Writing and posting a blog doesn't require buying any extra equipment. They can be as long or as short as you need them to be. It's a great way to get fresh content on your site, which keeps Google happy. And you can repurpose the content across all your chosen channels. Now let's talk about monitoring a bit. Your website isn't static and neither is Google. As you add more pages and services and content, you need to manage your metadata and optimize correctly. As algorithms change, your site pages could be impacted. Now you may think checking your site health is yet another time-consuming task. But here's some good news. There are tools that monitor your site health and send their findings to you automatically. I do have a few faves and you can find links to those in the show notes. Other areas to keep an eye on is your keyword performance. If you notice a downward trend, it's time to investigate. You might find less site visits or conversions in your analytics. That said, sometimes a dip in revenue is often the earliest sign that something needs attention, especially if you're not watching the numbers on a regular basis. And this concludes our bare minimum SEO series. Even doing these absolute minimum things to keep your SEO ticking requires time. I suggest setting aside around two hours a month to tackle these few bare minimum SEO techniques. Schedule those hours in your planner. That way it becomes a commitment because that which does not get scheduled does not get done. I hope you enjoyed listening and had some great takeaways from this series. Stay tuned for more episodes on making your business thrive online. See you in the next sweet spot. Cheers. Thank you for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you're looking for SEO and content marketing help, consider joining the small business sweet spot. It's a group coaching program where you can get answers to your questions about your business directly and clarity around the marketing strategies that you would like to implement in your business. You can find all kinds of information at compassdigitalstrategies.com. And if you like the episode, please tell a friend. Cheers.